Good day. This transmission is called the Archetypes of God. And what we mean by this is you have many names for the idea of what you call God. God, Goddess, Allah, Jehovah, Tetragrammaton, the Light, the I Am that I Am, Wakantanka. It doesn't really matter what it is that you use as a name to identify the concept of all that is. But it is important to understand that all of these names represent different archetypal expressions, different angles and different perspectives of the same one thing, so that all of your apparently separate religions, no matter how they present themselves, no matter how many symbols they use to represent the idea of God or aspects of God, are all talking about the same thing, but from different points of view that serve the uniqueness of the culture in which they live. But the idea is to understand that it all comes from source, it all is within the light. And the light, source, all that is, expresses itself in all these ways in order for there to be sufficient symbols for all the different cultural experiences on your planet, all the different individual experiences even within a culture on your planet. As we have said, the misinterpretation of what you have called in one particular Judeo-Christian culture, the Ten Commandments, are really the messages that were delivered in a very different way that have been misunderstood, misquoted, because of the level of understanding that existed in the culture at the time. And the so-called first commandment, I am the Lord your God, thou shalt not have false gods before me, really was a mistranslation and a misunderstanding of the idea that really would be more accurately represented as I am that I am, and all reflections are me, therefore none can be false before me, for I am all that is. Good day, Bashar. Um, I'm very happy to be with you at this moment. Very, right. very exciting. It is our passion and our pleasure to interact with you as well. Thank you. Uh, I loved listening to you about the concepts of God's and, you know, I'm reflecting to myself, it took me about 25 years to relieve myself from the concept of God, of religion, yes. religious, and, and, and become free to be who I am. So I wonder, in our civilization, how far as a collective are we from freeing ourselves to become the free that we are, we should be? Well, again, please do remember that you keep shifting collectives. You never change the world you're on, you never change the collective you're in at any given moment. You change yourself and you shift to a different version of Earth that already simultaneously exists, that contains a different collective that already believes more in the direction that you prefer. So by speaking about this in a linear way, as if it would appear that your world is changing, overall, as a general, idea, not precise, general idea, over the course of the next half century, mm -hmm. the next 50 of your years, for the most part, will see the greatest shift and you will be experiencing the greatest change. But again, it's simply because you've shifted to a version of Earth that is already that way. Hi. Good day. Hi, Bashar. Good day. Good day. Okay. Uh, Bashar, can I ask you, for, first thing is, are we still in the eye of the needle? Yes. As I said, this will progress all the way into and through 2023 to prepare you for letting go of things that you don't need anymore, to streamline yourselves so that you can be more yourself and pass more easily through that particular energy tunnel and prepare yourself for the beginning of the window of open contact. So, yes.